As you learn about the narcissistic pattern, it's also wise to reflect on the much healthier alternatives. Now below, you're going to find a link to my new extensive course called Ready, Set, Connect. It addresses both the mindset and the skills involved in gratifying relationships, and I hope you'll find it to be quite therapeutic. Let's remember that narcissists are consummate scoreboarders. As they watch and observe you, they're constantly wondering if they're winning or if they're losing. And uh, by that, I mean, uh, they want to know, are you going to satisfy me? Are you going to see me as being a force to be reckoned with? Are you going to give me what I want? Are you going to come under my sphere of influence and do things as I wish you to do? That's how they think. They have that real strong need to be in control. They're very self-centered. Uh, they're very entitled in the way that they engage with other individuals. So their scoreboarding happens when you fail to give them the supply that they want. So in their mind, they think, all right, I'm now a victim. You have done me wrong, so it becomes my job to punish you. That's how they think. Now, obviously, you can say that, that you can see that that whole style of thinking leads to a, a great inclination toward anger, and narcissists tend to be very angry individuals. Sometimes when narcissists uh, have uh, uh, taken a look at the scoreboard and they see that you're losing and that you're not giving them what they want, they'll go into a very openly aggressive form of anger. Now, they can be loud and blustery and yelling and raging, and they can just uh, have as much of a, a pushy style as they can possibly muster. But other narcissists, and these tend to be a little bit more on the covert uh, direction, although some of them can be uh, overt, but uh, the covert narcissists may think, well, okay, you can go into that openly aggressive form of anger, but it leaves you vulnerable. You, you, sometimes you just look stupid. You look foolish. And so these individuals think, I'm not going to let that happen. So they employ a covert uh, form of passive aggressive anger. Now, either way you go, uh, whether it's overt or covert, uh, openly aggressive or passive aggressive, there is a cruelty that uh, narcissists bring when they go into anger. They want to make sure that you hurt, and they want to create as much pain and discomfort as they possibly can because in their scoreboarding mindset, it's like, you're going to see that I'm, I'm the one that ha has the upper hand here, and you better not ever dare go against me. Uh, basically, nar uh, passive aggressive narcissists have concluded, uh, I want to show you how powerful I am, but I also want to do it in the least vulnerable way. And so, uh, their, their, uh, the name of their game is, I want to make you look foolish so that I can look superior. It's twisted, isn't it? Now, when I say there's a cruelty, uh, what I mean is they truly, uh, it's not only that they don't care about how you feel, uh, they really want you to squirm and struggle. Now, their means of going about expressing their anger can have all sorts of seemingly innocuous behaviors associated with it. For example, when we talk about a passive aggressive, we talk about them coming against you, but with something like half-hearted efforts or making promises and then not fulfilling it, or uh, uh, allowing you to assume that they're gonna cooperate with you and then they no-show. Or uh, it could be that they are the kind of people that sulk when they don't get their way. Maybe they're forgetful or they procrastinate or they're, they're, they're constantly uh, tardy, things like that, which is their way of saying, I'm not gonna cooperate with you. Uh, they can give you a lot of uh, promises that they don't then fulfill, lots of, uh, of or, uh, not completed tasks, and basically in their passive aggressiveness, it's like, leave me alone, I don't deem you as being worthy of my coordination. Uh, and so part of the cruelty 
that comes along with their passive aggressive form of, of uh, anger, and keep in mind it's aggressive, they want you to hurt, is you, you hardly ever are going to feel any sense of resolution with these individuals. In fact, over time, the longer you're with them, and particularly if you have uh, ties to projects or uh, uh, relationships that involve their coordination, uh, you can feel a great deal of anxiety and tension and angst and impatience and irritability because there they go again. And every time that you have those kind of reactions, they're over there thinking, See, it works. And I'm not, see, I'm not doing it in that way that those screamers do, I, I, but I've got you going. In their mind, they have messages that they want to send you, but they're going to do it without words. But basically, their unspoken messages are, as far as I'm concerned, you're a nobody. As far as I'm concerned, you're just a loser, or you're unworthy of my attention, or I actually like seeing you uh, feel and appear inept. I love toying with you. I like to mess with you. I couldn't care less about our relationship. And if it's damaged, all I want, in fact, if anything, I, I'd like seeing you as being damaged goods. Can't you see? It's all about me. You don't matter. And then they're thinking every time you come against me, I'm going to do my very best to bring misery down upon you. They do it in that passive aggressive kind of way because it allows them to have control with the least amount of vulnerability and make no mistake, it is a chosen pattern of life. It's a chosen strategy. And, uh, and like I say, the, the net result is they want you to hurt. Now, there are certain responses that you can give to these passive, aggressive, cruel narcissists that actually perpetuates uh, their game. Uh, for example, anytime you act like a victim, like, why are you doing this to me? Why are you trying to make my life so miserable? They're over there thinking, hmm, I know why, but I'm going to tell you, they, they love seeing you feeling victimized. Anytime you plead with them or try to convince them that there's a different way that they need to be, uh, they're thinking, okay, this becomes an opportunity for me to double down on my stubbornness. Go ahead and plead. In fact, plead some more. Make yourself look foolish. They'll just sit there and let you just uh, run with it and make yourself look terribly dysregulated. That's the cruelty. Uh, they love it when you then blow up in your own anger. See, they've already concluded that that loud blustery form of anger just leaves people looking foolish. And so when, when you do it, it's like, see, there you are. You're the fool. I'm not. You're the one that's over there just turning uh, all different shades of color and um, veins uh, bursting and all that. Good for you. Uh, they, they like that. They like it when you remain clearly annoyed or impatient or displeased with them. The implication for them is, see, this shows that I am a force to be reckoned with. I kind of like that. Or they like it when you have to uh, rearrange your plans or rearrange your priorities or rearrange your connections with other individuals because of their non-cooperation. It's like, you know, that, that's, that's just part of it. If you don't do what I tell you to do, I, I hope everything over there does fall apart. And I, th I hope you do have difficulties. That's part of that cruelty. Uh, they want you to have to withdraw from your crowd. They like it when you lose family members or friendships. They like it when you lose your reputation because of their uh, dysregulation of you. They actually like it also. Another kind of thing, if you have to lose money because of them, it's like, works for me. I don't care. And so uh, <laughs> anything that they can do to make you feel miserable. See, there's, there's, there's something for you to recognize. I, I go back to my opening statement. Uh, these people are constant scoreboarders. They're, they're in a win-lose kind of battle. And the, 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 the rules of the game or the rules of engagement with the passive-aggressive narcissist is established by them. The passive-aggressive narcissist always wins. They find their significance by being a class A jerk. A class A a-hole. It's like, yep, 
<laughs> I win. <laughs> so here's your prize. That's how they think. But what if you decide, okay, you can declare yourself as the winner. I'm not playing your game. Uh, they're, they're so determined to sabotage you and to bring you down that really the only viable response that you have to them is to say, you know, I'm going to have to pull as far away from you as I possibly can. Now, keep in mind that they, they like it when you're uh, the ultimate victim, but actually in their mind, they're the victim because when you don't cooperate, that means you've made their life miserable. And so they're going to just wear people out, including you, including the next person they go to. So that being the case, my response to all of this is, I think it's pitiable that you, the narcissist, have chosen to relate to the world in such a disruptive factor. I don't really uh, feel sorry for you, because like I say, it's, it's a chosen way of life. I don't feel the need to, uh, to make you see the light, because you won't. Uh, but the bottom line is I can do just fine without your cooperation and without your endorsement. I'm my own free person, and I freely choose not to get sucked into your game of power. You can just go and be your own passive aggressive person uh, all you want. I have a whole different way of life that I'm moving into, and it's not going to include this jerkism. I hope that videos such as this can give you some good insight regarding what you're dealing with. And as you do, I'm hoping that the, the right kind of adjustments can be made on your side of the equation. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, we'll keep more videos coming in your direction. Uh, if you have a need for therapy, and I know that many of you who try to come to terms with these kind of things could, uh, could use someone that can help you sift that out. I'm pleased to be sponsored by the people at betterhelp.com. There's a bit, there's a link below that will show you the link to their uh, website so that you can uh, choose from a whole team of licensed professional therapists. Uh, also, just a, a relatively new thing that we have is we now have a, a podcast. We have some links that will show you how to get into the, my podcast. Uh, I present some things in a, in a little bit of a different format, so um, uh, make note of that. We also have my video courses, um, extensive uh, uh, courses with many videos, written material, and questions that will guide you through various issues. Uh, Ready, Set, Connect about making healthy connections. This is me about establishing boundaries. Free to be about finding yourself despite the controllers. And then we have my books and other resources below. I want you to know that passive aggressive narcissists really are manipulative, cruel game players. Uh, and you're going to have to have uh, what I refer to as delicate detachment. You just have to pull away from them because the bottom line is that, that's no way to live. And uh, I'm hoping that you can live in steadiness and decency with or without their presence. Because my desire for you is that you live inside your place of peace.